Hey everyone, Live It Like Lisa here. In today's video, we are going to be creating some book stacks. I've got a stack of books here that I've been trying to get rid of on the Facebook marketplace for a while now. And books are just not an easy thing to sell these days, I find. Like, a lot of people just aren't buying books. So I thought, well, they're not selling on Marketplace as is. So I thought, well, I might just create some book stacks with these and sell them that way. I'm going to be creating a few different styles to give you guys some ideas if this is something you want to try yourself. And yeah, we'll just go from there. So as you can see, I've got <laughs> quite quite a lot to do. I probably won't go through all of them in this video, but at least I'll show you some different ways of decorating them and um, different things that you can do. And yeah, let's just get started. All right, so you want to group your books in stacks of three or four and in books that are roughly the same size as each other or at least going from largest to smallest, however you want them to look. I like mine to look pretty uniform, so I try to get like books of similar size together. And once you've got your stacks together, we're just going to rip the front covers off each one. Now, if you're sensitive about the cruelty to books, please look away now. Oh, it's probably too late. I probably should have put this disclaimer at the start of the video. Oh, okay. So for this first stack, I'm just going to glue on a vintage music sheet that I have in my collection. I just found like a vintage hymnal book and um, yeah, it's got some nice um, music pages in. And then on top of that, I'm just going to stick a paper doily. I've tea dyed this previously. I've just got a whole stack of them already tea dyed in my collection. So yeah, just stuck another tea doily on top of that. Now we're just going to wrap this one in some jute twine and tie it off in a knot. And then we're going to add some small beads to the uh, ends as well as a tassel. So to make the tassel, I just wrap the twine around my fingers a few times, tie it off at the top to create the top of the tassel, and then just trim the bottom to fray it all out a little bit. And then we thread our beads on. I think I threaded about five beads on and then attached my tassel to the end. Okay, so now we're going to make a little bow to sit on top of that. And again, I'm just doing, making this bow, wrapping a bit of twine around my fingers and then tying it off in the middle and then just trimming those ends. And we stick that bow right on the top. So for the words on the side of the book, I'm just going to go with the words home sweet home on this one. And because I don't do a lot of stamping, I just wanted to test it out myself just to see how it would look. And to be honest, I'm not keen on the spacing of the stamps, the way they are when you put them all on together. So I think I'm just going to stamp these on individually because I just think that the stamps were just spreading them out way too too much. So again, we'll go from the outer end and work our way in. And because I've got home on both the top and the bottom, it just makes it easy. I can just stamp two in the one go. And when, when you're doing stamping, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect and, and lined up. You know, that's the whole beauty of these book stacks that they do look a little bit rustic. And this is how our first book stack turned out. I'm really happy with the way this looks. It is so cute. And I just added a little flower on top as well. That one I didn't actually stick down. I just sat it there just for a little bit of color. Super easy and minimal materials. Let's do the next one. So for this next book stack, I'm using some stickers that I had in my collection. And what I wanna do first is just write on a bit of paper what is going on each book because it's surprisingly when you're working backwards how easy it is to mix your letters up well for me it is anyway so on these three books I'm going to put our life our story our home and obviously I sort of work from the outer edge and work my way in so it's just easier to have something to reference so you're not having to try and spell words backwards so to decorate this book stack, I'm not doing anything fancy whatsoever. We're just going to use some of this buffalo check ribbon and we're just going to tie it in a big bow right on the top. And I'm just trimming the end of the ribbon here to give them that 
little pointy effect and that's it so here is this book stack all finished i did add a couple of pieces of greenery to the top just to give it a little bit of color but yeah super super easy how easy is that all done <laughs> and i think they look so cute sitting on a little shelf somewhere so for this next stack, again, I'm just using some stickers that I had in my collection. Now, you can also use your Cricut machine or any sort of cutting machine to cut out some letters to stick on these books. You can do stamps. Um, there's plenty of ways you can add the lettering to these books, but I just thought stickers, I've got heaps of them. I haven't used them for ages, and it's a good opportunity to get rid of some. And I think they look really good. So this book stack is saying thankful, grateful, blessed. And to decorate this one, I'm just cutting up a piece of burlap fabric into a strip that's going to go around the top of the book stack. And then we're going to secure it on with some extra jute twine. So I'm just fraying the edges a little bit of this burlap as well, just to give it a more rustic feel. So to decorate this one, I've got a little wooden decorative element that I've had um, in my scrapbooking stash for years now. I've just tucked that under the jute twine and I'm just adding this little key to it as well and just tying it in a single bow. So here's this little book stack all finished. I Again, I've just added a tiny bit of greenery to the top just to add a bit of colour. But yes, yeah, super easy, super simple, just some burlap and jute twine. And that's the little wooden flourish that I had from my scrapbooking supplies and um, a small key that I also had in my supplies. But that is it. So simple, guys. And this one, I, I really like this one. It looks super cute. Okay, so for this next book stack, we're going to actually hot glue the books together. So I'm just putting a heap of glue in between each of the books and we're just going to secure those down. So now what we're going to do with this one is I've printed off an image on that I found on the internet and we're going to uh, pretty much decoupage it onto the spines of these books. So I'm using some PVA glue or you can use Mod Podge if you like and we're going to cover the spines of the books with the Mod Podge and then we're going to attach our image to the book spines. So you want to make sure that you press and secure that um, image onto your book so that it's all firmly contacted on all the spaces. There's no wrinkles and there's no gaps. And then you just want to let that dry and try and keep it flat. Now, once it's fully dry, you want to make sure it is completely dry, not even a little bit moist, otherwise the pages are just going to tear. Um, what we're going to do now is using a craft knife or X-Acto knife, you want to cut down in between the spines of those books so that they separate. And then just trim all the excess paper off the top and the bottom and on the sides of the book as well. And what you can also do is, if you're not keen on the colour of the pages of the book, you can just tone those down with some acrylic paint. I'm just using like a off-white coloured paint here just to tone down the colour of the pages. Now, once everything's fully dry, you want to go back in with some Mod Podge or PVA glue and go over the top of the image 
just to seal it all in and protect it. And just try to push all the ends of the paper in between the book stacks as well. So if there's any sort of loose frayed ends um, in between the spines, just push them into the spines as well and that will help give you a cleaner finish. Okay, so once all your glue has fully dried again, what I'm now going in with is some brown acrylic paint watered down with some just plain water and I'm just going to brush on some of this paint over the um, spine just to take the bright whiteness away and give it a more vintage look uh, and I'm just using a wet wipe to smudge that brown paint on. And it, it's just toning down the white so that it doesn't look so stark and it looks a little bit more rustic and a little bit more vintage. Now to decorate this one, we're just going to wrap some twine around the length of the books and just tie that off in a bow. And I'm just going to add a little love heart charm to this, which again I had in my collection. Uh, I think it was just an old jewellery piece that fell off. Um, a necklace that I had I end up going with this love heart which I really like and that's it for this one as well super simple so this is our finished little bluebirds book stack I did end up adding a couple of beads to the end of this one but really love the way this one looks as well this one's super cute and again I've just added a flower on top but haven't stuck that on so you know if anyone who wants to buy it doesn't want the flower on it particularly it can just be removed so that is our Bluebirds book stack. Now on to the next couple. So these next lot of book stacks would be ideal for those of you that don't have any stickers or word stickers or don't have a Cricut machine. It's as simple as just printing out the words on a Word document, whatever the quote you want to say on your book stack, and then we're just going to Mod Podge them straight to the spines of the books. Super, super easy. Now the way I like to do these is I like to have a little bit of overhang on either side of the spine so that when your book stacks are together you, they're, they're fully covered with the uh, paper that you're sticking onto it and just go a little bit easy with the glue like uh, on that first one the kindness I think I went a little bit too heavy handed with the glue um, it, the, the wrinkles do like smooth out as the glue dries but you don't need a lot of glue for this to work so yeah just go um, a little bit easy with the glue and spread it out nice and evenly and just you know get it as smooth as you can smoothing out those wrinkles and folding your edges over and I like to sort of push them onto something um, pretty straight and solid to help smooth those wrinkles out as well almost like an iron so here are the three lots of books, book stacks that I've got done now. They're all dry and once they're dry we're going to go over them again with some more PVA glue or Mod Podge just to help seal in that paper so that it's you know protects it a little bit. So go over the whole lot again with some more Mod Podge and or PVA glue. And once your glue has completely dried, you can go back in with your craft knife and just slice off the um, excess paper. Okay, to decorate this first stack, I'm just using this, um, I don't know, what is it, like a canvas type ribbon? Um, I'm not sure where I got it from. It's just been in my stash for ages. So we're just going to tie it up on one end in a bow and I'm going to cut the ends of it to make that fancy little forked kind of look on the ends of the ribbon. And then we're just going to add a couple of little um, decorative elements to it as well. So I've got this tassel here or these two tassels here that I'm just going to glue with some PVA glue underneath the knot of this ribbon so that they hang down and then I'm just going to add uh, a couple of little charms to this with some twine just securing it underneath the bow. And this is this book stack all done. I did go in with a little bit of antiquing ink and just sort of inked the edges as well, just to make it look a bit more vintage. 
and that's the little charms that I added with some twine and again I've just added a little flower to sit on top just for some decor but this can easily be removed as well. So to decorate the top of this next uh, book stack, I'm just got, I've just got a couple of um, these were actually Christmas tree ornaments, believe it or not, and I've just painted them white. They used to be like really um, what do you call it, like metallic green and metallic orange. I've just painted them with some white chalk paint, and I'm just hot gluing some twine around the stem of it. I guess you could say just to cover it up and make it look a little bit rustic, a little bit farmhouse going to do that to both the love hearts. So I have some scrap ticking stripe fabric in my craft room and I'm just I've just cut a strip of it off and I'm just fraying the edges a little bit and we're going to wrap this around the book stack and then wrap some jute twine over the top of that as well. So now I'm just going to secure those love hearts on with some PVA glue and then I've made myself a couple of tassels again using the jute twine and I'm going to thread a couple of the little beads on first and then attach the tassels to the end. So here's this book stack all finished again and again I've gone in with a little bit of um, antiquing ink or just you know some brown coloured ink just to dab around the edges of the pages and of the spines to you know take that bright white <laughs> off it just to make it look a bit more vintage. Really love this one actually I think I might recreate it for my own home. I love this one. So this next one, again, super easy. I've just wrapped some jute twine around quite a few times uh, to create like a cross over the books. And I'm just going to add a few charms that I've got in my collection and then another jute twine bow just to sit on top. And I'm just keeping this one fairly simple. And here's this one now. I've just added a little bit of greenery on top just to give it some colour. But yeah, again, another super easy book stack. And there you go, guys. Just some quick and easy ideas if you really love the look of these book stacks um, and you wanted to create them for yourself. I hope this video just showed you just how easy it is. You don't need a lot of materials. It doesn't cost a lot of money and you get to repurpose books that you're no longer reading so it's all a win-win i hope you've enjoyed this video guys and i will see you in my next one thanks for watching